Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Mad Men. I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go and look at an article at Black America Web. And I will post the article writer's name and details in the description, as I always do. And this is in Celebrities. And it says, Ludacris's longtime manager is charged with murder at the alleged self-defense shooting. Okay? Ludacris longtime manager Chaka, Chaka Zulu has been charged with murder at the self-defending himself in a shooting that took place outside of an Atlanta restaurant in June. Zulu's lawyer sent Michael Sheldon, uh, Selden, excuse me, of WSB TV the following statement: Mr. Chaka Zulu, a beloved son of the city of Atlanta, is disappointed and the Atlanta Police Department's decision to bring charges against him surrounding the shooting that occurred in June of 2022. A close review of the evidence, including the surveillance footage and eyewitness interviews, revealed that Mr. Zulu was attacked and jumped from behind by a gang of at least four individuals, sadly including the deceased, and was forced to defend himself after this gang repeatedly stomped, punched, and kicked him while he was on the ground in a defenseless defenseless posture. Mr. Luzulu was shot in the back during the shooting and nearly lost his life and is still recovering from the nearly fatal injury he sustained that evening. Mr. Zulu was at his place of business that night and had every right to defend himself. In an attempt to save his life, Mr. Zulu lawfully discharged the, his weapon in self-defense, a weapon that he is licensed to carry. Mr. Zulu fully cooperated with law enforcement officials in their investigation and voluntarily turned himself in. And once the, the, uh, he learned of the arrest warrant, Mr. Zulu remains confident that his name will be cleared of all charges through the judicial process. It is not lost on Mr. Zulu that someone lost his life, but had Mr. Zulu not lawfully defended himself, Mr. Zulu would have been killed that night. Mm, mm, mm. And this is the tweet. I will link this tweet in the description with all the rest of the information and details. If you want to go take a look over at it, and it is, uh, yeah, WSB TV, okay? The article continues by saying that the shooter uh, incident, Shaka Zulu, whose real name is Ahmad O, was one of three people shot in the parking lot. The shooting left two dead and one injured 23-year-old Artez uh, Benton died and Shaka Zulu injured. A source at the time of the shooting revealed that Shaka Zulu was shot at least once with the bullet coming close to his heart. Shaka was taken to the hospital and pronounced in critical condition. Police concluded that there was an argument or altercation that led to the victims being shot in the parking lot. O, famously known as Shaka Zulu, surrendered to the police on September the 13th and bailed out the same day. Amont being charged with murder, Shaka Zulu is also being charged with aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. And he owns this gun? And simple battery, according to jail records. Are they? Jail. At the top of 2022 year, Atlanta Hawks honored Shaka Zulu for his community service and recognized him with being a positive leader in Atlanta. Uh, I'm going to check back for updates as this story develops. And this is freaking crazy i mean wow bro um and you have all that alleged alleged evidence and everything and you still charge this man with 
commission of a felony, Jesus. Why? <laughs> I have questions. I, I have serious questions. Like, what was that? What was that deciding factor when they was like, oh, yeah, we just going, yeah, we just going to charge him with, you know, you know, all of these things and stuff. And it's going to be great. Isn't it? Like, I, what? I, I don't understand it. Um, I'm very much confused about a couple of details of the actual, how they came to, you know, uh, you know, make this decision or whatever the case is. So I'll just say that I will keep you updated as details decide to come in. Um, I do wish Mr. Zulu uh, a full and speedy recovery. Anyone that's injured, um, that was injured or hurt or whatever in the incident, um, you know, it's just a sad tragedy. But uh, it's innocent to proven guilty. And also, um, we'll see what shakes out. And with that being said, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for your support, for watching my videos. The mere fact that you, you know, watch a portion of my videos, any of my videos, uh, I am greatly uh, appreciative of it. So thank you so much. And with that being said, let's get down in the comment section, as we always do, and talk about this in every, any other story that I may have posted on my channel. And I will get back with you guys in the next one.